Mental Salvage Workshop. Today we are doing a junk box challenge. So for those of you who don't know what that is, that is where a customer donates a bunch of junk and then challenges us to recreate it, repurpose it, upcycle it, or just kind of give it a new twist. So that's what we are doing today. So thank you, Carol, for giving us this box. And I'll show you, I, I don't know if the ladies really know everything that we're doing today, so I'm gonna have to explain. Um, let's see, the first item we have is an I don't know item. <laughs> I don't know what this is. And What's dangerous? Carol didn't know what this was either. Well, let's see. Hmm. Here, I'll show it up close. <laughs> well, I thought what it looked like is if you put like a wine bottle inside oh, sure. here. Yeah. And then this goes on, on the, the neck, yeah. on the neck of the wine bottle, and it kind of secures it. So that's what we're going to go with, and that's what it's going to be to us. But if mm -hmm. you know what this item is, or you have it, let us know in the comments below. Um, so what I think we're going to do is just paint this up, and then I have a um, pretty wine bottle that we're going to put in there, and we might decoupage on the wine bottle or just make it cute and or put an arrangement in it or something like that. So we'll see as things progress here. So um, the second item we have are items <clears throat> are these pretty plaster um, fruit pictures. There's one of pears and then another of grapes. And these just, they're dirty and dingy and just need a little updating. So I think we're just going to paint them and use some dark wax or on some white paint. And we'll show you how we do that. And then the same with these grape hooks. They're kind of outdated. So we'll just paint them up and we might mount those on a board, but there's kind of a theme here. Yeah, I kind of notice it's kind of like a wine. It's a really great theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You okay. two are quite a pair. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that was really funny. I don't, I don't really have. I don't, I don't know. You don't have any. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not witty like that. <laughs> we aren't either. You notice that? <laughs> oh, so, anyways, yeah, like a wine theme here so um and then the other two items are outside of the box this is a plant stand and before we got started i fixed it up with some e6000 the wire the weld was coming off on this leg and at first i thought well why don't i just tear all of the legs off but the welds are very strong on the other legs and wouldn't tear off easily at all so I just decided to fix this and we are going to paint this plant stand I'm trying to be in the camera here sorry if I'm talking outside of the camera <clears throat> and then put this in here and then we'll, we'll set it down on the table and show them I have a couple of beads these beads wreaths came from the Dollar Tree and this is really popular right now and have the wood beads on furniture and mirrors and stuff like that. So we'll paint, <clears throat> paint this up and then we're going to attach the beads so that they look like they're a part of the piece on both the bottom um, shelf and the top. So that will be really pretty and we'll attach them with twine. And then the next project, she gave us, Carol gave us a frame. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. Um, so we have this gold outdated frame and I had this piece of board that came from something else that I'm repurposing it. And we're going to paint the frame and put the board on and then I have this old lantern. Oh, can you see it? So, let, yeah, let's bring it up to the camera. Here's the frame, and we'll mount that brass lantern on. And, yeah, it'll be this cute. I was thinking we could put a, a flameless candle in there, a battery-operated candle. 
Yeah, because we don't want to have to do this part. Yeah. No. So, so yeah, that's what we have going on today. And we're ready to get started. Let's do it. This was a short and sweet junk box. One of the things that helped our work go quickly was having one color scheme. We chose Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream Chalked Paint and Venetian Yellow Milk Paint. I used my pneumatics paint sprayer for two of the items painted in the Venetian Yellow, which also made the painting go much faster. Julie and Angie painted the plaster pieces and the backboard for the lantern in two coats of the Chiffon Cream. Once the plaster art was dry, I wet distressed the pieces with a damp rag. This added some dimension to the wall art. I then clear waxed the pieces and added a few spots of antiquing wax as well. Painting the plaster wall art is a matter of preference, but by painting them in the cream color, we sort of neutralized it, making them more versatile for more decor schemes and or vignettes. If you are interested in any of the pieces, they are listed on our website, beautifulsalvage.com, and they're also on our boutique in Baxter. They will be linked in the description below as well. I think these plaster pieces turned out very pretty and elegant. It is amazing to see how a little bit of paint can update an item. Julie painted the bottle holder in spray chiffon cream and added a beautiful label with vintage tacks. This piece looks very cute filled with an arrangement. It's a bit narrow for some wine bottles but can hold slender bottles. Angie put two coats of chiffon cream on the backboard for the lantern while I sprayed the outdated picture frame in Venetian yellow. We also took the lantern apart, cutting the wires and removing one of the glass pieces. To finish the piece, Angie added antiquing wax. I used a small trim nailer to attach the frame to the backboard and added some hangers on the back. This would be an adorable piece to hang a wreath from or even some fall leaf garland. Spraying the plant stand was definitely a time saver. I flipped the piece over to get all of the details painted. After the paint was dry, I used a clear spray paint to seal the milk paint, making it more durable. I started adding the wooden beads by wrapping twine around and we thought things would go faster if all of us did it together, which actually backfired. Each one of us wrapped uh, the twine differently, which was not the look I wanted, so I ended up going back and rewrapping the twine. Needless to say, our lesson was learned. Sometimes too many hands doing one project doesn't produce the best results. In the end, the plant stand turned out adorable and it is listed on the website, but is only shippable upon request. All right, so we are just about finished with our projects. We just have a little bit of touch up to do. Uh, Angie, do you want to show what you did? Well, we did the light up lantern and we put a little candle in there. We left the glass out because we want to be able to turn it on and off. But I think it turned out really cute. It is very cute. And you can imagine like a wreath maybe hanging yeah, I was from thinking that. Yeah, get handy handy. those flowers there or those leaves. I thought this was kind of pretty too, just to, to make add it. a little bit of pop. Yeah. Oh, whatever just, time of the year. Mm -hmm. You can just do that. Yeah, I think a Christmas wreath would be really great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Cute. Beautiful is the word. Not cute. Yeah. Yeah, right? Beautiful. <laughs> those were beautiful sounds. Yes. And then next, which we have a little, I have a little left to do on the plant stand, but we um, sort of attached the beads. The beads are attached there with some twine, but I have some more attaching to do. And that just turned out really cute. We chose to paint this in a mustard yellow tone uh, with the beads just kind of fallish, which looks cute for fall. You can put a pumpkin on there, fall arrangement. And this was what we thought was probably a wine bottle holder. Remember it was a, the dark color and we added some paint to that and then um, attached this cute graphic on here with some cute little old tacks on each corner, making sure that we didn't poke it all the way through so you wouldn't scratch your hand when you put it in there. But yeah, that turned out really cute. Yes, and we might find a bottle to put put in that at the boutique. We have lots of bottles. Lots so. of bottles, yes. And we have the little chalk wall hangings that turned out really cute. Wax on it and um, just showed a little bit of color of each of the fruits. So very Tuscan looking. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the theme. 
it looks everything looks kind of Tuscan with the with the burnt yellow color and the grapes and wine items. So these are just the grape hooks that were painted and can be hung on the wall. So yeah, that was a short and sweet mm -hmm. um, junk box, just what we needed for a morning because I'm headed out to work at the boutique this morning. But yeah. Come awesome. see us there. Yes. Thanks, Carol. Um, yes, thank you so much, Carol, for donating all this fun stuff. If you like what you see and like watching the junk transformations, you can follow our YouTube channel or follow our Facebook page or come visit us in the store. We're located in Baxter, Minnesota on Edward Drive and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye.